Look at my. Hey, what's up? Editor Matt here. Um, I'm editing right now, and I noticed that my um, right <laughs> elbow was extremely ashy. It's not ashy anymore. But hey, do me a favor. Nobody leave comments about how my elbow's ashy. Thanks. Back to the video. Enjoy. Because that's all I'm going to do on this channel. That's a lie. I'm, I'm not going to bully people every every video. But <sighs> anyway, I'm Maddie, and I am here to give a presentation on pickup artists. And in particular, I just want to explore the question: Are pickup artists really that bad? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I am trying to corner the market on PowerPoints on YouTube, and seems like my team is telling me that I have to do this presentation, and that was a joke. Okay, well, we can move on, I guess. All right. So, a little about me. All right. Yo gets no hoes. This nigga trying to roast pickup artists in yoga pants. Fuck out of here. I'm dead, LOL. Yes, I am. And pickup artists are musty, and I am about to flame them. Cool, cool, cool. Everybody on board? Fuck them. So, the Wikipedia definition of a pickup artist is pickup artists, or PUAs for short, self identified as dating coaches, the seduction community, or the pickup community is a movement of men whose goal is seduction and sexual success with women. The community exists through internet, newsletters, and blogs, marketing, e.g. <laughs> banner ads, seminars, one-on-one -on -one coaching, forums, and groups, as well as local clubs called Layers. Oh my God, change that. Change it now. Huh? All right, thanks. So, a few notable pickup artists. Number one, obviously, we all know Mystery, host of the VH1 show, The Pickup Artist. Also, he is the coach of Neil Strauss, the investigative reporter that wrote the game. We also have uh, some piece of shit from the internet and another piece of shit from the internet. Let's move on. So, we got Mystery. He is a VH1 pickup artist. And the, also the main subject of the book, The Game, as I said before. And if I'm being real, his style kind of goes crazy. Like, sick hat. Very small soul patch. Very small. But it was a different time. I'm not judging. And sick earrings. I was thinking about getting my ears pierced. If my ears were pierced, I'd have those earrings and that hat. I don't know why I'd need the hat if my ears were pierced. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> And seems like my team really likes this guy. And I don't know. I kind of like him too. Um, I did watch an episode of The Pickup Artist. Well, most of an episode. It was, <laughs> it was a 2000s reality show. And, and those are really fun. But they don't age well. So next we have Neil Strauss. A bold piece of shit. I... <laughs> I apologize for that. I think that's a typo. But <laughs> your ball head ass. Alright, let's continue. Can you fix that, please? Thank you. Uh he's an inves investigative reporter, actually, and he wrote the game. The <laughs> it's a famous book. The subtitle sounds a little sexual. Wonder if he did that on purpose. Anyway. In the book, he recounts his transformation to becoming a pickup artist going by the name Style. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not, I can't say that fits him, but I don't know. I've only seen a few pictures of him. Maybe he does have good style in other pictures. Um, <laughs> the only way that name could be less accurate is if it was hairstyle. <laughs> Your bald ass. Uh, he studied, <laughs> studied under mystery. Um, 
I need to chill. I, I really don't want to make it seem like I hate all bald people. I don't. I just think you all should go to jail. Just kidding. I love bald people. <laughs> I really do. I promise. Favorite basketball player. Super bald. The bald mamba. Hey, it's me again. Just noticed two more things. Um, one, it was actually my left elbow that was ashy. Still not ashy, though. And also, I realized that by bringing that up, probably asking people to comment that. Don't comment it. Thanks. <laughs> back, back to the video. Oh, God. All right. Well, next we have um, this terrible person. He writes PDFs on the Internet uh, that he self-publishes as uh, Amazon books. I did not read any of his books, but... <laughs> H Bomber guy did a really good video on pickup artists and focus on him. So go back and watch that and come back after you're done and watch my video again. Thank you. Love it. And smash the like button. Unlike and then like it again. I don't know if that has anything to do with the algorithm. I digress. And his, <laughs> uh, this part is very un unsettling, but in his videos and books and writings in general, he has received a lot of criticism for promoting misogyny. Uh, he wanted to legalize <laughs> Bruh, no. Um, it's also anti-Semitic, homophobic. Of course he's homophobic though. What pickup artist is not homophobic? And also ties the all right. Um, hey, go to jail, buddy. Go to jail and stay there forever. Thank you. Um, oh, all right. Well, I'm getting info from my team that he actually found God. So I guess we can let him out of jail. Oh, look, the cops left. Uh, can we get a halo on him? Thank you. Great work, team. So here are a few quotes from his book. Um, it's called Bang. Um, very good name. It's, I like books when the name is what you're supposed to do after you read them. <laughs> yeah, they should have more books like that. Easy to understand. Maybe I'd read more if they had books like that. Anyway, I'm not going to read his book, though. Fuck him. A uh, few quotes. Um, some guys have the belief that Girls don't want to be approached, but it shouldn't be up to her <laughs> what you decide to do. If you like her, go up to her and make an attempt. What she thinks really doesn't matter. Okay, he's a bad guy. Um, let's see, another quote. Most importantly, the alpha male is always willing to walk away. That's true. Good advice with women and when buying cars. If you're buying a used car, be an alpha male. Betas ride bikes. Um, <laughs> a girl who likes you will ask questions about you. Well, no way. Um, this is the number one way to know a girl is interested in you or not. It means she wants to know information, more information about the guy she's thinking about banging. Um, oh, goodness. This is not a great... I know. He was... He made sense into the end. Um... <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. Yes, <laughs> all women are thinking about banging. Uh, who they won't bang and who they will bang. That's all they think about. Bang, bang, bang. Also, actually, probably it's just that guy. <laughs> Not saying he's a woman. If he was a woman, he'd probably be a better person. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? The insecure man, simply through his unattractive body language, ooh, tells a girl he's not worthy of a sexual partner. Is it my body language? Damn. <laughs> the alpha male, on the other hand, lives much differently. First and foremost, he does what he wants to do. He doesn't concern himself with personal rejection or social failure. His needs, wants, and feelings come before anyone else's. No one's judgment, dirty looks, opinions, and laughter is going to stop him from getting what he wants. He doesn't ask for permission. If <laughs> Hey, ask for permission. Um, if he wants to have sex with a girl... He uses his knowledge and skills to try to make it happen. His actions st stem from desire instead of insecurity. 
Hey. Put him in jail. <laughs> Let's move on. Yeah, so that was that was rough. Um, not a great listen. So I put a bunny in a bow tie. Just a little palate cleanser. <laughs> Before we move on to the next pickup artist. Bow tie is so cute. You got a business meeting? <laughs> uh, I love bunnies. All right, cool. This guy loves horses. Uh, <laughs> this is a TikTok pickup artist named Russell Hartley. Um, he... <laughs> I, that's his profile picture on LinkedIn. I don't know why he would put, <laughs> put that as his profile picture. Probably because he looks like a sim uh, with no customizations. The only sliders that they increased were whiteness and dumbness. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, the horse thing, it's about that. He's the guy on TikTok who made a video about how women... When you have sex with them, it's like adding a new mare to your stable. I did not add that video in. If you want to see the video, I don't know, watch Curtis Connors' video on him. Um, and then come back and watch mine again. And then, but yeah, this is the horse thing. Horse guy. He loves horses. He thinks women are horses. Sick. Um, and yeah, as I said, he looks like a sim that has not been customized. Um <laughs> Trenching the horses. Woohoo is when the Sims have sex for people who don't play the Sims. Yeah, I'm saying he has sex with horses. Just kidding. Uh, don't sue me. It's a joke. Um, <laughs> also, this pig is blurry, but it's it's appropriate because he looks like a character from a PS2 game. You know, like old video games when they couldn't like put like actual like features on them, so they just pasted a texture on their face. That's what he looks like. Old texture head ass boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was so stupid but anyway um also he has to save girls numbers on a memory card because he lives in a ps2 <laughs> oh lord i'm stupid i forgot to say a joke um since he's a uh generic video game character he has sex in the t pose uh yeah that's all i wanted also hey russell this you <laughs> oh back to video <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I don't know how this got in here but somehow my team got a hold of his search history uh, Sims 3 horse woohoo mod free download damn <laughs> show you a freak uh, anyway uh, how to block YouTubers on TikTok anyway that's funny <laughs> I made that I'm just kidding <laughs> But for real though, that Russell Hartley pack hitting, hitting, hitting. <laughs> Don't sue me. These are just jokes. He only has sex with horses, allegedly. See, I know the law. Okay. But yeah, enough having fun. Let's watch some of his TikToks. Um, this time I have headphones so I can actually hear them and I can react to them. So let's watch some of his TikToks. Also, I got to look at my script. Oh, yeah, also, I forgot to say TikTok time. <laughs> okay, well, <sighs> these videos are so dumb. All right. Ooh, when that boy realizes that he can do way better than having a girl that treats him like that, there's always room here for the lonely. Okay, so this video really represents something that's dumb about pretty much the entire manosphere. It's like if one girl does something, they all do it. That's not how people work. People are different. Stop trying to categorize everybody. It's weird. And also, she's probably joking. Like, I I think Russell Hartley, of all people, would know how to, like, what staging something for content is. But I don't know. Let's watch the next Stop video. doing this at bars and clubs. <laughs> So a lot of times guys will go out to bars and clubs and they're hanging out, sitting on the walls, and they're not even looking at each other. They're not even talking to each other. They're sort of scanning the room because everything else is so interesting. They're looking for interesting things instead of they themselves being interesting. Instead, be the entertainment. Be the exciting people at the place. Oh, 
I'm so dumb. That's why I'm alone. It's because I forgot to dance. <sighs> God. Good thing he made a whole TikTok explaining that you should dance at the club. I thought the club was for Up having conversation. Shut up. I accidentally hit the clicker and Russell Hartley started talking over me. The joke I was trying to deliver was, I thought the club was for eating wings. Stations like this. So, where are you from? Chicago. Cool, what do you do? I'm a nurse. That's cool, how long you been in LA? A couple years now. Oh my God, snooze fest, it's just so boring. Nobody wants to have those kinds of conversations. Instead, do what I call conversation threading. So, where are you from? I'm from Chicago. Really? That's so different than LA. What did you do for fun in Chicago? Oh, well, same as here. Go to restaurants with my friends, go to lounges sometimes. So all you have to do is listen and pay attention and she literally gives you the conversation threads that you can choose to pull on like this. So, so far she said that she likes restaurants and lounges and so I go from there. You like going to restaurants with your friends, what's your favorite food? I actually really like sushi. Or I can choose to go with... Oh really? Me too. What kind of lounges? Like a more classy upscale lounge or something like a hookah lounge? I like classy lounges but I do like hookah. This way you get to know more about a person and the conversation flows well. <laughs> that would piss me off for some reason because it's just like... Um, both those conversations seem boring. Uh, could you not pay the actress to seem interested in the second one? I don't know. <laughs> also, conversation threading? Bruh, it's called talking. That's talking. Ugh. I don't understand why the first one is just like restaurants. Boring. But, oh, but uh, I can't even remember. It's bothering me so much. It's so stupid. Oh, like this dude thinks he's in Fallout or something, and it's just like a fucking <laughs> a conversation dialogue boxes, and he has to pick one. And he it's like in the first one, he picked the wrong one, and they're like, "You're banned from this village." But the second one is like, "I don't know, have sex with me." So dumb, so very dumb. He's so dumb. He's a dumb, dumb idiot. Anyway. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. <laughs> Newsflash: She's not coming back. A lot of people have a hard time meeting people at bars and clubs because they're doing a lot of things wrong. I'm gonna show you how to do it right. But first, let me show you what not to do. Hey, can I buy you a drink? I'm good, thanks. It's pretty silly to see that here, but that really does happen. People do that shit for real. Instead, try this. Cheers. Cheers. Simply clink the glass and say cheers. Most people will cheers you back. It's sort of a social contract and then you can continue the conversation. So, where are you from? <laughs> Going to the bathroom equals not interested. She wanted you, she'd pee on the floor like a sim. You'd know about that, wouldn't you, Russell? <sighs> okay. So yeah, those were really dumb. Russell Hardly TikToks be like, Wow, I'm really hungry. I wish there was something I could do for survival. You should try food stacking. What's that? It's when you keep eating so you don't die. Thanks, I didn't think of that. I, I don't know who's like benefiting from those videos, except for maybe like a child that's never been out of the house or to a club, but I don't know. Some tells me that Russell might know that his audience is children and oh goodness, and he's just making money off them. I don't know. Just a hunch. Don't sue me. So what did we learn today? Um, I don't know. I should probably go delete hinge, go to the club, yell at women for one to pee. Now that would be unhinged. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I've been Manny the Hedgehog. Please like and subscribe. I also made a video with my friend Jay where we cringed at pickup artists in the wild. I will post that later this week. Thank you so much. Love you. Bye. <laughs>